Christwood here, September 13th, 2021, 3 p.m. You won, you motherfucker. You won, William Waldridge. After two years of using tech, living through me, broadcasting through me from remote neuromonitoring, monitoring, fucking my brain up, frying my brain, broadcasting through me, all the EMFs and radiation that's been put through me, lies, time buying, cover-ups, arrest refusals on you because you are the lover, the boyfriend, the co-offender, and boss to Spencer Mills, OPP to Staff Sergeant, OPP to the Chief now gone, OPP to um, Shannon Cork, OPP, Robert Kane, OPP, Robert Lucas, OPP, Shelley Huffington, co-worker, mental health worker, Daily Tea Company, or was, Stacy, Daily Tea Company, was Daily Tea Company, mental health worker, here in Napanee, Lennox and Addington, Ontario, Canada, now Kingston, and of course, her girlfriend, crime cover-up doctor, medical blacklister, blacklister, medical file falsifier, name falsifier, the one that assures the crime cover-ups, the one that assures when these people are committing their crimes, they are covered up. Dr. Tatiana V, a.k.a. Margie V, Lennox and Addington County General Hospital, along with Dr. Joy Hadley and others. Been medically refused discrimination, lies, time buying, cover-ups, not being taken serious, and as a result, I've been, I know I'm right brain lobotomized and I can prove it. I had no surgeries, no neurological problems prior to being injured August of 2019 till now. And I was talking about how William Waldrich was stalking my mother physically, how he had called her mom how he thinks he is me, how he thinks we were switched at birth. <clears throat> he thinks she's Harry Potter. He is highly psychotic. He is a delusional junkie, and this is why his OPP gave him the tech to do this. This is revenge against me for speaking of police crimes. This is their way to act like Pontius Pilots while still being 100% guilty by getting my murder through William Moultridge and his identity theft, which he thinks he is going to get, but it's not going to happen. I am going to end up dead. It is going to be murder, and it will be through implants I have in me from the back of my head and other spots from being injured, deformed, sex assaulted, tortured for well over two years. I'm going through this hoping for memory loss so police and everyone involved can get out of criminal civil lawsuits so you can get away with this crime in hopes that it goes away. But if anything happens to me mentally or physically more, the ones named are responsible for homicide in the first degree premeditated with intent to commit. I'm being being fucking joked.
Sorry about that. I'm being choked up. I'm being cooked. The whole fucking right side of my head is swelling. I'm getting nothing but electricity. And I'm feeling nothing other than that. My fucking skull and my face are being swelled. Right beside that spot on my head, I have something there. And that's what's causing whatever the air and something to expand my head to deform my skull. Which is also causing me serious memory loss. So, congratulations, William Aldridge. Congratulations, Spencer Mills. You're getting your homicide, you're getting your identity theft, knowing that I cannot do anything about it, knowing that I cannot go get help, but I can prove the injuries because I had no surgeries prior to or after August of 2019, no neurological problems, no mental health histories, no criminal record or history. I didn't even have to go to a doctor prior to this approximately seven years six to well between six and approximately 10 years because i was physically doing fine mentally spiritually and then stuff started to happen and then i was talking about police crimes and i started taking pictures as a result they started using remote neuromonitoring monitoring on me through william oldridge who they are refusing to fucking arrest he now wears glasses like mine My name is Chris Wood. I was born in July. <coughs> and my brothers are Stephen, Trevor, Kevin, Robert, and who's gone? And Peter. The whole right side of my head is swelling and it feels like it's being swelled with water or something and it's going all from the right side of my head down into my shoulder. This is no fucking joke. I'm being filled up with something. Something is going on with me and I do have an implant or something in the back of my head that is numbing me down to dumb me down. While William Waldridge is broadcasting through me from remote neuro monitoring, it could all be proven if I could get to a hospital or a doctor. He lives at 149 Center Street North, Napanee, Lennox and Huntington, Ontario, Canada. He is an inmate escapee. He is delusional, clinically diagnosed at that, and that can be proven. <coughs> Even said so on his Facebook. He's had his mail sent to my address. He was physically stalking my mother. He called her mom on several occasions as well. He thinks that he is me. He thinks that he is Harry Potter. He thinks that we were switched at birth. As you can see, William Aldridge, you delusional junkie fuck. You're getting your identity theft. You're in hopes to fuck my memory. So you and your boys can get away with this in hopes that you stay out of prison or back from the nut house because you are an inmate escapee that's being harbored by your boys and protected they even took out his prisoner tracking and put it on to me they set him loose they took out his prisoner tracking set him loose and put it on to me for stalking for framing for part of this crime no criminal record or history, but yet William Aldridge is an inmate escapee and a dangerous offender, sex offender, child molester, human sex trade, slavery trafficker, drug trafficker, and he is the boss, lover, co-offender, boyfriend to these cops, mental health worker, and doctors, and I will not be proven wrong. I've been proven my deforming my mental fuck up and everything else for well over two years whom how and why consistently christ would love all hate none
I hope this is being seen and taken serious because my identity theft is pretty much done. Congratulations, you cocksucking fucking terrorist and your boyfriend, William Waldridge, in hopes that you get more blowjobs so you can go on to commit more crimes while I am being fucking murdered for revenge for you, thinking he is going to get this identity theft. But in the meantime, what is actually happening to me is I am being fucking murdered. I am have illegal surveillance on me from these fucking cops. They can see me piss shit. They can see me doing this. They know I'm doing this. They see it all. Every single thing I do, everything, they see everything I do, they hear everything I do, all illegally, through remote narrow monitoring from William Aldridge broadcasting through me. My right eye is completely and totally fucked. My right ear is totally and completely fucked. It all could be proven, but I can't go to a hospital to even get checked out or help. They just think it's Chris with his headache. They wouldn't even bother to check me to see what's going on to take me serious. I've been going through that. That's been proven. Anything happens to me because of repercussions, the cops and everyone else looking for repercussions. Although this is remotely being done to me through computer, cell phone, and Wi-Fi, a lot of it. <coughs> Plus the tech that I have in me that can be proven. The damages done to my body that I did not have prior to this hopes that I get memory loss so they get away with these crimes. As you can see, delusional fuck one more time. Christ would, not William Aldridge. You need to be arrested. You need to get back to jail where you belong. You a criminal inmate escapee who thinks that who is allegedly Hell's Angels leader of Ontario chapter and a sex offender, and a rat informant in, in, in uh, witness protection. You live at 149 Center Street, you're an identity thief, so that's why you need this identity theft too, is because you are a wanted rat informant. I will not be proven wrong. Sex offender, and so is your brother, so is your son, Brother Blair, who is a meth dealer in Napanee, who drives a white Mercedes, or did. Chris would love all, hate none.